All right. Who here likes hash tables? Any? All right. Two people. All right. <laughs> so uh, we're here to talk about the IPA FDHT. Uh, that's just a uh, distributed hash table. So the question is, how do you store a hash value in a distributed way? In IPFS, the hash value is the content ID and how to get to it. The content ID is just a hash of whatever data you're trying to store. The answer, in IPFS, every peer has an ID that's the hash of its public key. We have a hash data, hash of public key. Those both have the same namespace. So all you have to do is say, hey, the content ID I want has a content ID of 20, and then look for all the peers around that. For an example of how this relates to cats. Right, so if I have a cat picture, and its content ID is, say, 20, or then, and my, con my, con my node ID is 64, then what I do is I do a hop through the network to try my, uh, the nodes that I know that are closer, and then they will do a few hops themselves to try and find the closest. Now that can either say there's a successfully found picture, in which case fine, we're good, and if there's not and I store it, then I tell the closest peer that was found, hey, you now need to store the mapping that I have this content ID. Right, so that's how it works, and then it works really well. <laughs> so, yeah.